yet another Fowler's Toad. This guy's very tan. This is the habitat we're looking at. This is just a power line cut. There. Gonna put this guy near where that plastic thing was. Such a cute dude. Right. Time to put his cover back. Alright. This guy is teeny. Southern ring neck. Nice and complete ring. Found him right under there. I'll right, we'll let this little guy go and see what else we find. See you later, buddy. It's probably been like 15, 20 minutes since I caught that ring neck. And so I'm walking up this trail and I spotted her. Female box turtle. I'm just gonna let her be. Yeah, she's got that brown eye. So I'm at a spot where people sled and lifted up this disposed thing. Ooh. All right, two more ring necks under that sledding tube. But yeah, so this is a nice spot for ring necks. I haven't found anything else, but I'm going to put these guys back. There was two more, but they got away, so, but cool. All right, so I lifted up this box. Found another Fowler Stowed. All right, so right under that piece of a tire, lifted it up, and found this very old ring neck snake. Yeah, he's in shed, but he's a big snake for a ring neck. Um, I came here hoping I'd find something else since I found so many ring necks, but I'm going to let this guy go back to his business, and I hope we find something else today. Great heron. So I found another ring neck, but I didn't feel like filming him. So let's see what's under here. Let's see a ring neck down there. Let's see if we can get him. And another ring neck. <clears throat> Ugh, he stinks. Another ring neck. Must all over me, so I'm gonna let him go. You stink, buddy. Thanks a lot. Let's see what's under here real quick. Okay. Ugh. So I just lifted up this rock. Found this little Fowler's toad under there. Gonna let him go back under there. If he wants. And another Fowler's toad along this track. Gonna let him go. Where I found him. Peace out, little guy. Got one. Swam right into my hand. 
All right, so I just found a two line under that rock. I already put it back, but he's fast. So I'm gonna show you really quick. And if he falls in the water, it's fine. Right, I'm just gonna check this board out. Another Fowler's Toad. Awesome. Gotta put our wood back. I put her near her board, so she should find it. Cool though. I didn't think that anything would be under here. So I just checked again under that board and there was another one in one of the burrows. There's better lighting on this guy. Poor girl. I think it's a girl. She's not making much noise, so. Hopefully she finds her way back. I'm sure she will. Alright, so the other ringneck got away. I got this little guy. Found this one under a log. He's got a stub tail. Yeah, I'm sweating out here. It's like 90 something degrees. It's really hot out. But this was cool to see before the storm comes. Beautiful colors. Nice pattern. But like I said, he's got a stubby tail. Poor guy. Poor girl. But still a pretty southern ring neck. Alright, so I didn't expect to see this, but here's one, two, three, four Fowler's toads. Look at this praying mantis, just hanging out. What's up, man? What you doing, dude? Right, I'm gonna leave these guys alone. Just one more look under here, real quick. Got a leopard slug. And I don't see any toads. Oh, there is a very little Fowler's toad under there. So I'm just gonna put this back since it's not gonna crush him. Awesome. 